It's 9 p.m. Your phone rings. The voice on the other end is trembling. It's your daughter crying, begging for help. What would you do? For most of us, the answer is simple. You'd act immediately. But what if I told you that wasn't your daughter and they're not actually calling from her phone? This isn't a hypothetical. The FBI recently issued a bulletin warning about the rise of scammers using AI to create fake voices and videos that mimic the people you trust. These scammers are weaponizing your own relationships and personal information to deceive you. Now let me ask you this. Can you honestly say there's no one, an ex, a coworker, or a former friend who might want to settle a score? No one who might seize on any opportunity to hurt you. And even if no one comes to mind, what about the people you don't know? The unsavory types out there who'd gladly exploit any advantage, no matter the cost to anyone else. If you can confidently say no, I can't imagine anyone on this planet who would ever do me or someone I care about wrong, feel free to skip this video. But if even the thinnest part of you hesitated, stick around because what I'm about to share might just save you or someone you love from becoming their next target. Before we get underway, please consider hitting like, subscribe, and turning on notifications. It's a small step, but it helps this message reach others who need to hear it. And if you've seen scams like this firsthand, drop a comment below. It might just help save someone else. Let's start with the people you love the most, the ones who might not be as tech savvy as you are. Imagine this, your mom gets a call. On the other end, she hears her grandson's voice. He's crying, panicked, he says he's been in an accident, needs bail money, and asks her for help because he doesn't want to worry you. These scam artists will say whatever it takes. And so she doesn't hesitate. She transfers the money, desperate to help. Why wouldn't she? It's his voice. Unmistakably his voice. But this isn't just about older people being tricked. According to a global survey by McAfee, one in four people have either experienced an AI voice cloning scam or know someone who has, and over 77% of victims report financial losses, sometimes their entire life savings. So these aren't harmless pranks. They're calculated malicious attacks designed to use AI tools to turn our trust against us. So how do scammers create something so convincing? What's their process? Stick around. I'm going to break it down for you step by step. Before we dive into the details, drop a comment below. Have you or someone you know ever been targeted by a scam like this? Sharing your story could help others avoid the same trap. Now let's take this out of the family and into something even more personal. Imagine you've moved on from a bad relationship, finally getting your life back on track, but your ex, not so much. They're out for revenge. One day your boss calls you into their office. They've received a recording of your voice, clear as day, revealing company secrets or making inappropriate comments. You're blindsided. You know you didn't say those things, but how do you prove it? A school principal faced this exact nightmare. A disgruntled coworker used AI to fabricate a hateful, racist recording of their voice. The community protested, parents demanded actions, and the principal's entire career hung by a thread. The truth eventually came out, but by then the damage was done, trust destroyed, reputation gone. This isn't just technology gone rogue, it's personal, and it doesn't take much. A few voice recordings, some Instagram videos, or even an old voicemail is all it takes to weaponize your identity. If you've made it this far, do me a favor and hit that like button. It helps this critical information reach others. And if you or someone you know have been targeted by a scam like this, consider sharing your story in the comments section below. It just might help others avoid the same trap. Let's face the reality. If someone close to you wanted to pull this off, they wouldn't need much. A few voice clips, some basic AI tools, a half an hour to a couple hours, that's all they'd need. For a stranger, sure, it takes longer, but over the course of an afternoon, they can build a devastating attack. From social media, they can learn where you work, who your friends are, and even recent events in your life. They're not just cloning your voice, they're cloning your story. Think about this, a telemarketer calls asking harmless questions. They don't care about your answers. They just need a few seconds of your voice. From there, the rest is shockingly easy. With everything they've gathered, the attackers are ready to make their move. They fire up their VOIP software, spoof a phone number, 
and suddenly your caller ID flashes with a trusted name. Your spouse, your child, your boss. But it's not just the number, it's the voice. The way your child says dad, the trembling in their tone, the urgency in your boss's words. It's so convincing you don't stop to question it. And why would you? It sounds just like them. And then comes the ask. A child in danger, a boss demanding a wire transfer, a loved one begging for help. If they did it right, most of us wouldn't hesitate. And that's exactly what these guys are counting on. So now that you know how these scams are pulled off, let's shift gears. The real question is, how can you spot them before it's too late? And more importantly, how can you protect yourself and the people that you care about? So how do you spot the signs of a scam before it's too late? It starts with paying attention to the details, those subtle clues that something isn't quite right. Let me walk you through the most common warning signs. Inconsistent tone or pitch. You're going to be listening for sudden changes in depth or inflection that don't match the person that you know. Imagine your daughter sounds slightly robotic or the voice lacks its usual warmth or emotion. Unfamiliar phrasing. You're going to be listening for words or phrases the person wouldn't normally use. A friend calls you asking for money but uses overly formal or awkward language that feels off. Listen for a mechanical quality, a slight metallic distortion, especially during moments of emotion or rapid speech. The voice has an unnatural echo or it lacks the human-like flow of a normal conversation. Odd pauses. Listen for unnatural gaps in the conversation as if the voice is thinking. For example, the caller hesitates when responding to specific questions, which breaks the usual flow of conversation. Mismatch between content and context. You want to question the urgency or content of a request that doesn't quite align with how the person would usually communicate. For example, a trusted coworker suddenly asks for sensitive financial information when they've never done it before. Caller ID spoofing. You want to be skeptical a bit here. A familiar name or number on your screen does not guarantee the caller is legitimate. For example, you receive a call from your quote-unquote mom, but something about her voice or mannerisms just feel off. So now you know what to look for, the telltale signs that something might be off. But recognizing a scam isn't always enough. The real challenge lies in knowing how to stop it before it causes damage. And that's where a solid plan comes in. So the first thing that I'm going to advise you to do is really, really simple. Just say, hey, let me call you right back. If you know this person, you know their phone number. Look it up in your phone book or in contacts and call them back from that number. And if they tell you to call them back at another number, alarm bells should be going off in your head. Proceed with extreme caution. Set up a verification system. Create a unique password, phrase, or code only known to you and the trusted individuals around you. Scammers won't know this, and it's a reliable way to confirm a caller's identity. If your daughter calls for help, ask for the code word that you agreed on before taking any action. Pause and verify. Stop and double check before taking any urgent action. Call the person back using a trusted number saved in your contacts. Ask specific questions only they would know the answers to. Pausing gives you time to catch inconsistencies and confirm the caller's identity before acting. Limit what you share online. It's time to audit your social media and remove sensitive personal information. Scammers rely on publicly available data to craft convincing stories. Avoid posting exact details about vacations, birthdays, or family connections. This information is being weaponized. Recognize common red flags. Be cautious of urgency, emotional manipulation, or unsolicited financial requests. These tactics are designed to make you act impulsively without thinking clearly. Use call screening and blocking. Enable call screening features on your phone or use apps to filter suspicious calls. Many scams can be flagged or avoided entirely by not answering unrecognized numbers. Educate your inner circle. Share this knowledge with your friends, family, and coworkers. The more people who are aware of these scams, the harder it becomes for scammers to succeed. Leverage technology. Use anti-spoofing apps and tools that detect suspicious activities. 
These tools can add an extra layer of protection by identifying and blocking fake calls before they even reach you. These strategies aren't difficult. They're practical steps that you can take today to protect yourself and the people that you care about. Remember, staying ahead of these scams starts with awareness and a few smart precautions. This is the world we live in now, where AI tools are turning our own trust against us in ways that we never imagined. And this is only the beginning. I mean, my God, can you picture what election season will look like going forward with these kind of tools in play? If you found this video helpful, share it with someone who needs to hear it. And if you've not already subscribed, now's the time. Stay ahead of these threats and together, let's protect what matters most, each other. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay informed, and as always, be good to yourself and to each other. I'll see you in the next one.